Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. Today I'm going to play some Hero Realms and I'm going to play it in solo mode. Um, but I'm sort of going to play against Draco because he's sitting right over there where the sort of... Um, it's called Tybus Guild Lord, the boss. And I don't have the promo card that came with the uh, Kickstarter. So I just put him out up on my phone like this. You won't see it very good. But he's over there and I have the, he has the light and all that and he has some effects depending on what he happens. And she starts with 50 health and um, now this game is uh, of course mostly a two player game. You can play it with I think pretty much you know six people or whatever. Um, if you have more than one copy. One copy you can all play with two players or solo but it's not really designed for solo either. This is a sort of... Um, promo thing it doesn't come with the box the solo version you have to do like me like i do and have it on your uh, printed out or have it on your phone or whatever um also there is there is a expansion coming for this um i think in uh, late this year uh 2017 that is that will uh, bring a whole solo campaign now that, that's something i'm looking forward to because i really like this game it's a deck building game it just like star realms before it of course it's really really similar to Star Realms, but I prefer the, I th actually in this case I prefer the graphic and all that from the fantasy world uh, instead of the space space thing. And also I uh, played a lot of Star Realms uh, digitally and so on. So this is kind of fresh for me, because here you also have in the base game, if you just pick up the base game, you basically just have these, um, yeah, you have the same system pretty much. Uh, some improvements, of course, with the health meter and all that. Uh, but what you can do is you can buy these character packs. So I picked up a few of these. And so now I'm going to be playing the wizard. Let's see if we can get some focus on that because it's lovely graphic. Yeah, uh, the art is really good on these. And so I'm playing the wizard. He has his special, he has his own deck, his own starting deck. Uh, special abilities. He has a fireball down here and he has a channel ability. So that way you won't get like the same thing over and over because you can combine these in different ways so you can be playing the wizard against the fighter or the thief against the fighter and so on. And each one of them have, you get 15 cards in a character pack and you know what you get, it's not like a booster system. So a uh, really nice system and I really like this uh, this meter for for health uh, where you can just adjust this and depending on how much health you, are, you have you can really easily see it. So. Anyway, let's get started playing the solo variant. So, uh, I'm the wizard, I have my stuff here, I have my 10 cards in starting hand. And I'll just draw 5 and get going. No, actually I'll draw 3 in the solo mode. Almost forgot. You only draw 3 at the first uh, round, then you draw 5 as usual. So, I have my cards here, and in this game you can just play them straight out because some cards have an effect like if you play this and that before that, but most of the time you can just play them just out like this. And so I have one attack and two gold. So let's see what I can get. Now with two gold I could pay to do this one, which is... Um, then I would tap it like this. I can do it once every round. That means I get to draw a card, but I lose a health if I do that. So I don't, I don't want to do that now. Um, okay, so I think with my two gold i think i'll pick up this guy because he is uh, this is an action card and he can heal and he, he also brings me some uh, gold which is nice if i get another yellow card then this effect triggers they sort of trigger off each other so ally abilities as they're called then i will also get another gold so i'll pick that up that goes uh, as in most deck builders it goes to my uh, discord pile together with my cards but i do have one damage here as well uh, that I can do if I had two or more actions in play, which I don't have, uh, then I could draw a card as well. But I'll do one damage to the boss or to Draco as I'm pretending now he's the boss. So he goes from 50 to 49, just like that. Uh, I think I think this is so good. I think more games should uh, use the system uh, with the cards like that. It's just so easy to keep track instead of having all these tokens and stuff. Okay, so that was it uh, for my first round. I'll draw back up to five cards. Uh, no, yeah, now I actually draw five cards. The first round I just draw, <laughs> drew three. Okay, and now it's time for uh, Draco the boss to do his thing. And what he's going to do is he's going to draw one card from the market deck. And it's a um, yellow one, Imperial. 
which means he will uh, heal or he'll gain 5 health. So he goes up to 54. Just like that. And now he will keep this card here. Um, if he gets one of each symbol, there's four different symbols in the game. If he gets one of each, then I'll take 15 damage. Uh, also, he will do one damage to me because this card has a cost of one. So he will do one damage to me right away. So, um, yeah, yeah, I have to take the damage as well. So I go from 50 to 49, just like that. And so it's my turn again, and now I have five cards, so I guess I can do a bit more now. So I have a cat, the cat, this is the wizard's special card, and he'll put it out like this, and that is a champion. So let's see, it will be out here, and it will um, stay here. Uh, it doesn't get discarded at the end of my round, my turn. And I can tap this to get one attack, or one gold, or one healing. And it has two health, but you, since it's a... Uh, um, white shield then draco doesn't have to attack him before he can hurt me these with the black shield here that's uh, called guard cards they are sort of protecting me so if i have this then uh he has to take out this first okay anyway so let's see what can i play more um well i have some gold so three gold and two attack and yeah well i think i'll use the cat to, oh, I forgot to refill the market. There should be another card out there. Um, hmm, okay, so uh, that's a 6 2. That's kind of expensive. I have 3 gold right now. Yeah, let's use the cat to heal one. So I'm back up to 50 again. Well, might sound like not that much, but <laughs> every little bit of healing helps. So that was my uh, actions here, and I'll do two damage to uh, the boss. So he's down to 52. And so that was it. And I will discard these. I will draw five new. I only have two, so I have to reshuffle here. And if you know Star Realms, um, this game should come really natural to you. Uh, it's an easy game to learn anyway, but I, I did the two-player uh, run-through of Star Realms together with Martin. You can check it out if you just click the little eye up there, it goes straight to it. Um, and so um, you can check that out if you want to see it played with, with sort of in two-player mode, because it's pretty much the same thing. But I still like this better. <laughs> okay, so now it's time for the boss. And so Draco will draw one of these. It's another yellow one. And it's a 4, so I'll take 4 dam damage right away, I'll just adjust it here, so I'm down to 40, uh, 46. And now, in a way it's good for me that it was the same color, as the same type of card as the old one, because he's not building up to have one of each. Okay, and so uh, this um, card means he will heal for, uh, gain 5 lives, so he's up to 57, that's not good. And so it's my turn. It was really swift like this, and it's it, it's the same thing in a two-play game. It's really fast, really fast played. Um, okay, so I have two gold, and I have this one, which will give me one discount. I have three gold, and this gives me one discount if I buy an action card. The next action card I buy. I have four attack, and the cat is back, by the way. Uh, he resets every turn. Uh, okay, so... Now I think I'll use the cat for one attack, so I have five attack in total, so that's 52 health there, and I have three gold, but I also have the discount if I get an action card, these are not action cards, these are champions, but these are, uh, so I have three gold, it's not enough to get that anyway, I think I want this uh, champion anyway because he will protect me, it's a guard card, so that's three gold, and a new one comes up. And that was my turn. So uh, the cat resets. Uh, let's not forget him. And I'll get five new cards. And so it's time for the boss. And so he'll get a red card out now. It's a seven. That's not good. So I'll take seven damage. Wow. So I'm down to 39. That is not good at all. Um, so yeah, you just switch the card around like that. And I'm to 39. And so, uh, also, because it's a red card, uh, that's not good at all, because now we will sort of um, so get rid of all the cards here in the market. And they will be replaced with five new ones, which could be a good thing, I guess, but uh, yeah, 
it's like you can't really plan them for something that you want to get later on because it might get wiped also he'll get five attacks so he'll do five more damage to me um and actually now i think he will because i forgot about it he, he's going for my uh champion first before he hits me so he'll kill the cat well he'll stun the cat the cat will come back it goes to discard pile and then he has three more damage to me so i'm down to 36 it's not looking good <laughs> it could be quite hard this okay so well, let's see uh, here's my new hand and i have what three gold we do get some glare here i'm not sure why with my light but i hope you can see it so three gold uh Five gold and I get to heal for three plus one for each champion I have. But the cat is gone, so I don't have any champions now. So that means, um, yeah, basically it just means that I'll heal for three. So I'm back to 39. And I haven't played another yellow one, otherwise I would get an extra gold here. But I have five gold and one attack. Okay, so with the one attack, well, he'll just go down to 51. I have five gold and there's new cards out now. Um, I'll get the dire wolf. It's good and also he's a uh, guard as well. I'm trying to get those to just protect me. And now I will also do something else. I will use my fireball. Uh, I just realized there's no point in saving it in a solo game uh, because what the fire double does is it's a one-time use. I have to sacrifice it, which is get rid of it. Uh, but it will deal four damage to target player and to each of the champions. If if I had a human player playing against now, he would have champions out as well, right? So I could kill a lot of them at the same time. But then since it's the boss thing with the solo mode, it doesn't matter. I'll just use it. He'll take four damage. He'll go down to uh, forty. What did I say? Four? Yeah, yeah forty-seven. Okay. So that was my turn. I need to reshuffle and then I'll draw back up to five cards. And uh, we should refill the market here as well. I keep forgetting that in all kinds of games like this. I keep forgetting it in uh, Legendary Encounters as well. I don't know why. Okay, three, four, five cards. And so I have my new hand and now it's time for the big boss, Draco. Well, it's not normally Draco, but now it's this. Okay, so uh, he will draw a card. And that's a green one. So now he has three of the four symbols he needs to get the 15 points of damage strike on me. He will hit me for three. There, so I'm down to 36. And the green one is, uh, if I have any champions, he will stun it, which means I'll, I'll, it goes to discard. But since I don't have any champions, instead I have to discard two cards. I get to choose them, but... Uh, this card is two money cards. Ah, that was bad. Okay. And now I'm in real trouble because soon he will have one of each and yeah, okay. So <laughs> I only have three cards now because he, uh, he made me discard the other ones. So this one, let's see, this one, I will put the cat out first and I will use the cat for one healing and I'll get three from this card plus one for each champion. He's a champion so I'll get a total of five healing. That's good, I'm up to 41. Again, and I also have two money there. Um, I'll get one of these. These are uh, the fire gems. You can you can get them as many as you like. Yeah, they're always there. It's just the same card. Uh, it's two money, but it also if you uh, sacrifice it, if you throw it away, then you'll get three attack that round. So that's that's not a bad card to get some one of those. And I also had one attack here, so uh, one attack will be dealt here. So forty six. Okay. And I'll draw back up the cap resets by the way, and I'll draw back up to five cards, and it's time for the boss. And let's just hope he gets a blue one now because yeah. And he got a blue one, of course. So that means um first of all, uh he will do four damage from that. So that's I'm down to 37 again. And then because he has one of each, the blue effect is that he will draw another card. Yeah, I think you should do that first then. Well, it's another blue, so it'll do three more damage to me. I'm down to 34, and that's a blue triggers again. Another one, and now uh, he'll do six damage to me. I'm going to die now, pretty much. I'm down to 28. And now, since he has one of each, then all these get wiped. Uh, well, actually, the red effect happens as well. Everything happens, and then you do that. Okay, so all these go away. We'll get five new ones. I think I'm dead pretty much. <laughs> he will do, uh, red also means he gets uh, f do, does five damage to me. 
Wow, okay, so I'm down to 23. I'm really getting bad luck here. And now since he had one of each color, I'll, he'll do 15 damage to me. Actually, he should kill my cat as well. I keep forgetting that. Okay, so the cat is stunned, as it's called, so he's not dead, but he'll come back later. And then he does 13 more, so I'm down to 10, 10 life. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to make this. Okay, so that was his uh, turn, and so it's my turn. And I'll have my hand here. Wow, I need so much healing if I can find it somehow. Of course. So I have two gold. Um, and then I have four. I haven't played another green card, so that doesn't trigger. But this will go out and protect me. That's a fiver. So I'll, I'll tap that, which means I get three, five, seven attack. And I do have two. I have two. I'll pick up one of these again. Uh, so, um, seven attack to the boss. Uh, so that means he's down to 39, but he's still way in the lead. And he even might even heal if he gets those yellow, the Imperial cards. And so I'll draw back up to five, and like this. I mean, I like that you can play the solo, even though I really look forward to that campaign mode where you can play uh, so it's going to be more focused on solo or actually cooperative game as well. You can be more, more than one player and play cooperatively in the expansion that's coming. Okay, so he will draw a new card and that's a blue one, which means he'll do seven damage to me. Wow, I have three health. I'm probably dead now. And blue means he draws another one and that's a four. No, 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 I keep forgetting. I have my protection here. I have my, my dire wolf. So he'll die first. Well, he, he'll get stunned from the seven. That means I'll take two instead of seven. So I'll get five back. I have eight health now when he draws this four. Yeah, and then I'll take four. So I'm down to four life. And the green one means that if I have a champion, he will get stunned. I don't have a champion now, so I have to discard two cards. So as you can see, it's not looking good. Okay. So that was his turn. I only have three cards. Um, two money. I'll get discount. There's nothing to buy that gives me discount. So with two, I'll just pick up this uh, recruit here. It has some healing at least. I really need that. A uh, new card comes out like that. And so I'll play my death cultist. He will protect me a bit and I'll tap him to get two damage done to the boss. And so we go to 37. I mean, of course, there's a lot of luck involved here. Depending on what cards he'll draw, he'll, he'll heal, he'll do different things. So, 3, 4, 5. And so it's his turn, and he'll draw a card. And it's a green one, it's an 8, and that's it. <laughs> he'll do 8 damage to me. I only have uh, 4 life plus this cultist, which is a 3. So that's 7 in total, so I'm done for. And I lost to the Racco, the big bad boss. <laughs> okay, and so that was uh, Hero Realms, a little quick look at it. Um, it plays a lot better, I would say, in a two-player version. Where I, I mean, the solo variant could be fun as well, but it, it's pretty much made for being a multiplayer game. Uh, as of now, until the expansion comes, where you can play cooperatively and solo, of course. So, thank you so much for watching Hero Realms, and uh, this game is of course published by White Wizard Games, and it's designed by Darwin Castle and Robert Duggerty. And so, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great evening or morning, or whenever you're watching this. Take care, bye bye. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.